Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready. So your energy is Nine of Swords, the Emperor, the Sun, and the Four of Wands. Your person's energy is Queen of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Meeting energies, Ten of Pentacles, the Hermit, Six of Swords, Five of Cups, our focus. Four of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, Three of Cups. Guys, it seems a third party situation. Uh, what can be encouraging is that this can be a reading for some of you that can be willing to work things out with a partner in order to have a chance to row the boat forward together. Does it mean that it's easy as a task? Maybe not, but there can even be the opportunity to talk things out. So, let's see the Oracle cards. Ask for help from others. Forgiveness, yes indeed, and Abundance, bottom of the deck, which can be the Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Sun, combination of energies. This can be a marriage for some of you. And there can be the opportunity to overcome a challenge. This is fair to say. What cannot be involved in this situation is a um, stubborn approach, our focus, uh, the Four of Pentacles. Kind of the desire to hold the position, you know? Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. Well. Uh, keywords that can describe the Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles combination of energies. Bottom of the deck, we have healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self love, self care, being happier. There is an apology, guys, and the choice that follows is basically one about the opportunity to accept uh, the apology or not you know it's a crossroads so the three of swords is the type of energy that describes a broken heart it's a mirror you know because some of you can struggle because of the nine of swords this person is aware that uh, maybe they took action in a superficial way, page of ones, when it comes to an interaction with a third person, an interaction that was not um, evaluated in the best possible way, uh, it was a um, an act of poor judgment, you know? It is even fair to say that this person may have regrets about the mistake, and so they have to make amends, guys. They have to apologize, they have to say, I am sorry, and this is the only way to give this connection a chance to bounce back from the disappointment. Um, the Queen of Pentacles can be about 
how this person sees you guys. So, a reasonable and agreeable partner. Uh, so, these are meaningful qualities, but we also um, share in the readings how it can be unfair to take advantage of someone that can channel Queen of Pentacles energies. And so, this person has to level up because if they have done you guys are wrong, they have to repair it. And they have to truly mean it, you know? They have to put in the work, the effort. And then the Queen of Pentacles can be like an approach that this person should manifest because the Queen of Pentacles can be the opposite if we think about the Four of Pentacles. One, the Four, is an energy about protection, a closed-off approach, even um, the decision to avoid, to open up, to avoid, to say, I, I am sorry because, you know, I am such a tough one, you know, a tough character. All right, it is pointless as a, as a behavior, you know, because if there was a mistake, and there was, if we follow these energies, um, the only way to give the connection a real chance to bounce back from it is to open up in an honest way so that we are truly willing to uh, take responsibility um, for something that maybe uh, should, um, should have been avoided, you know? And so, guys, you are in a position of advantage, I would say, uh, because you may receive the apology and then you may have to decide what you want to do. The Emperor is the proactive energy that follows a thinking process that is spot on, you know? The opportunity to transform into action a plan well thought. The thinking process comes from the Hermit. This is a quiet moment, guys. Some of you can even say to this person, look, I am going to take um, some time for myself um, because I want to think about what happened and also maybe about your apology. This is what some of you can say to your partner. We are talking about an extremely important connection, Four of Wands, 11-11 card for a lot of readers, so it can be a soulful partnership, one extremely meaningful for you guys. Um, it is fair to say that it has been um, a connection able to amplify even your satisfaction, the sun. But now we have to understand if it can still be the case. Because this is an important evaluation. The Ten of Pentacles, guys, follows the concept. Uh, it can be a marriage, a commitment. Uh, it can be our abundance oracle card. We can even talk about properties, you know? And so, this person, my goodness, um, they put themselves in a position that is not a, not a good one. Now, they can be sincere, they can. Uh, the Page of Pentacles is an energy that I like in this flow because this is a diligent approach, guys. And the page can be willing to learn if we follow the concept, this person can be willing to say to you, look, how can we work things out? Tell me, I am willing to listen, which is super important, allow me to say. But then, granted the fact that um, the third person has to go for good, uh, we have to shift the perspective, basically, from what happened, the three cups down below in the Five of Cups, which are basically the same three cups involved in the Tarot. We have to 
figure out how it can be possible to nurture once again the two cups behind the back of the figure. The Six of Swords is the opportunity to row the boat forward together in order to leave behind the rough waters, let's say a challenge for this connection. It can be done, guys, um, if you resonate, you are in a position that can allow you to lead the way. You can lead by example. You may be called to display a lot of maturity and patience. This person can follow along. A quick side note is the following. Um, if you are familiar with our channel, you may already know that uh, for me, reconciliation is just a word. It's a label. Um, if there is an apology, we can evaluate the apology at the 100%, then we have to pay attention to intentions, actions, and effort in order to realize if the connection can truly bounce back from um, from a disappointment, you know? Because otherwise there can be the risk to face once again the same problem down the road. That's why guys um, there can be the opportunity to talk things out with your partner. There is even the opportunity to overcome the challenge. A mature approach is due, a lot of effort is required. There is no space for stubbornness in this situation if we want to overcome um, the challenge. It can be done, but we have to work together because otherwise if one person is rowing in a direction and the other one is rowing in the opposite way basically we are not going anywhere you know so this can be even a topic that can be touched in a conversation so guys i hope that i made myself clear and this was helpful let us know if you resonate comment like share subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you the best Take very good care of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.